I think the most exciting part of research is that when you address a problem, you'll often bring your tissue, bring your slide um, to the microscope and look at it, and you're the first person ever in the world that's seen what you see, and that's, that's really cool. You know, we don't walk in the lab and have these great eureka moments all the time, but once in a rare while, you have kind of these lightning strike moments where you, you put that sample um, under the, the microscope and you realize, wow, you just discovered something. So you added to, to human knowledge, you really made this breakthrough. Um, and that, that's very rewarding. I think one, one challenge has been we really just don't understand um, as much um, about the brain as, as people might assume. So you might assume we know what all these cells are, we know what they do. Um, but, but actually in a lot of the brain, we, we really don't even have a basic grasp of what the cells themselves are doing. And so this, this is a huge endeavor um, across the world, different research groups um, taking part in understanding what, what are the cells of the brain, how are they connected, what is their function, and then what happens if they're not functioning normally, what, what are some of the, the um, consequences of that by understanding how the brain works. Um, we, we can better treat um, disorders that, that patients have. And also, I mean, from a basic science point of view, it's, it's very interesting. It's, it's a very old philosophical question, you know, where, where, where does our beingness come from? And, you know, we're, we're addressing that, but we're also addressing um, very specific problems.